kivu taki bwana Rashid Ronald KTN News in the county of Kisi Now the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission today held a stakeholders conference that involved several faith-based organizations as the commission's chair Eliud Wabukala marks his 115th day in office and as our Timothy Otieno now reports, it appears that the head of the commission may be investing more into his religious background to slay the dragon that is corruption. More than three months since this man took over as head of the country's anti-corruption organ and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is seeking divine intervention to engage in a battle against a vice that has plagued the country for decades. During a stakeholders conference in Nairobi, attended mostly by faith-based organizations, the head of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission would admit that the commission requires more of moral support than constant vilification if they are to eradicate the vice that is corruption. We need to be accountable when corruption takes place inside our own institutions. Uh, we need to be accountable for that. <coughs> Take the lead against that corruption uh, in your institutions. For a commission that receives more than 700 reported corruption cases in a week, Wabukala would outline what may perhaps be termed as his progress report. Since January 2017, the commission has managed to preserve assets worth 335 million shillings, even though over 400 cases still remain pending in court. 1,340 officials have been charged with various corruption offences, even though the quest to have the so-called big fish apprehended remains a mirage. These high-profile cases you have talked about, these people have taken a lot of money. Before you jail that person, he has employed the best lawyer in the country. He has all the networks to frustrate the efforts of the commissions. This is what has kept Kenya behind. It would have moved miles and miles ahead, but kept us behind. And we believe a lot of crimes in this country is being caused or contributed to by this thing. And with the elections fast approaching, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has received over 16,000 wealth declaration forms from aspirants as required by law before one can be cleared by the IEBC to vie for any post. We have received from the from, uh, Jubilee presidential candidate, I think you know that one. We have received from the NASA presidential candidate, I think you know that one. And then we have received from others who are very, about the other nine. They are there in our place. This rather new approach by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to partner more closely this time round with faith-based organs so 10 umbrella bodies agree to support the commission in the daunting task. As religious leaders, we are being taught to teach good ethics and high moral standards. Corruption is completely on the opposite side of what we teach. Our work is really to give glory to God and to bring honor to Kenya. That's all that we need to look at. Whether or not the new approach will yield results could go a long way in cementing the man of God's legacy for a job that has in the past 